patient specialist who also happens to have his own TV show. His name is Red Green. Thanks, Patrick. You know, he looks familiar to me. Well, I guess it's an honor to be asked to help announce the top 10 Canadian shows of the last 20 years. I personally would have preferred to be just nominated for the job, because in my experience, when you're nominated, there's almost no chance it'll go any farther than that. They decided to use a computer to make the selections. I suggested the ratings book might be an interesting reference, but that spooked everybody. So we went with the computer. I actually built this computer myself. Did I need to say that? Now with a computer, you know, you put the input in and you get a completely different output out. You people with livestock have experienced that. But then people with livestock have experienced pretty much everything. Okay, if we want our computer to output a countdown of the top 10 Canadian television shows, what should our input be? Well, they give Gemini Awards to the best TV shows every year. So we can put one of these babies in there. And maybe some Gemini nominations. And then to top it off, something really Canadian. A picket sign. <laughs> no, 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 no. A box of maple glazed donuts. Okay, let's see what we get. All right, an envelope, that's a good sign. Unless there's postage due. If it's the name of a television show, we're really on the right track. If it's the name of a Canadian television show, might be even better. Okay, the countdown begins. The duct tape computer has decided the number 10 Canadian television show of the last 20 years is Trailer Park Boys. One time I was making a model and I glued the wing to a B-17 bomber to my bird by accident. I had a wing on my bird. I got a busted nose, which I now have a rag glued to, and a truck glued to my hand. Well, a man is he's supposed to always be thinking about stuff about his family and for to make himself to do things that are going to gooder the family up around or gooder it up. Ah! Ricky! Ricky! Jesus, a hard time saving you. There must be a oh. return or something. Ricky, we're not f***ed yet. We just need to find some people to help us harvest. Come on, boys, we're going to do this. We just need one hour of your time to help us harvest some plants, okay? Anybody that helps can carry as many plants away with them as they want. Then you can go back to whatever the f*** it is you do. Ricky, you're forcing Rita McNeil and her band to harvest dope at gunpoint. You could be a little bit nicer, you know. Here's your nice one here, dear. There ain't no way I'm making no more poor movies, dog. Last time my mom's went off on my head, you know what I'm saying? I'm like, I don't play that no more, Jules. There's nothing to see here. Leave us the f alone. We're just on vacation. Ricky. Let's you. take your piss yourself, bud. You piss yourself too much away. Oh, no. Not again. There you my are, you know what I'm saying? What's this shit on the radio about the cops found all your weed? No you know shit! You got no my weed? Every Christmas, it's the same thing as presents. Staring me in the face saying, open me, open me, but... I said I wouldn't open it until I was with my family, and... You never know, this might be the year they come back, maybe. How many people here are stoned right now? Come on, how many people here are stoned right now? That's what I thought. Like, that's Christmas. None of this presence and lights and stress and shit. Just getting drunk and stoned with your friends, family, people that you love. Oh, for <laughs> sakes. Trailer Park Boys is number 10. Well, you know, let's face it, anyone who does Money Mart ads, they're going to get on the list. What show is number nine? What show is number one? You'll have to stick around. We're going to be counting down the whole thing for you. And we're doing a lot more. We'll also be taking a look back at 20 years of Gemini Award Galas, 20 years of Canadian TV, all of it. The good, the bad, and so bad it's good. <laughs> now, one thing award shows are known for is fashion. And the Geminis are no exception. In a minute, we're going to show you some remarkable outfits. And to get us there, here's what could be the best throw to a clip pack in history. From the Gemini-nominated show, My Secret Identity, and years later, the time-traveling mystery Sliders, and even later, movies like Jerry Maguire and the classic Kangaroo Jack, here's Jerry O'Connell, time-traveling again, this time from the 1989 Gemini Awards. Take it away, Jerry. 
Okay, guys, let's bust a move. Roll the clips. The Geminis are so exciting because there's so much style. I mean, you can't deny that there's style. I mean, I saw Deborah Levy looking wonderful. Nancy Dolman took my breath away. Some, oh, got one. <laughs> this is gonna be fun tonight. Let's just have fun, fun, fun. Oh, it's gonna be a fun night. Okay. Quite a fetching outfit you have. With that thing. Oh, well, here, try it on. No, no. I don't like it that much. Oh, here. Let's, how does it look on? I'm having this wonderful Caesar salad smoked salmon sandwich in the sink for a sling. And she comes traipsing up in this organza party dress with an uplift bra. I said, honey, I've seen bigger lumps than oatmeal. Oh, my God. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. <laughs> <laughs> what a frock. What a frock. It, it doesn't bite. Come closer. <laughs> Oh, anyway. Testy flash, testy flash. Thank you. That, oh, what a lovely treat. I'm so nervous already. You look marvelous. Well, thank you. She's under the impression that what she is wearing at that time is like really high fashion. And it's like complete garbage makes me pick on just vomit. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see you there. Your hair looks great, Judy. You're going to be fine. <laughs> A bigger star. <laughs> How about just star at all, huh? An all new season. New fun. New faces. New farce. The funniest way. Of taking the one ton challenge. Come on, we're Canadian. We're up for a challenge. A message from the government of Canada. It's your free guide. Hey. Oh, yeah, hey, you really think we can fight evil gingivitis? It's clinically proven that using Listerine after brushing eliminates more germs that cause gingivitis than brushing alone. Let's roll! Want your gums clean? Brush, then use Listerine. Can't touch this. Well, you gotta touch it. That's why there's Purell, because germs can cause illness. So when there's no soap and water, reach for Purell. It kills 99.99% .99 of germs in seconds. Can't touch this. You can touch, then Purell. Coach Will is much more than just a hockey coach to my son and the rest of his team. He's a mentor, he's a friend. One of his lessons that he teaches the boys is Operation Christmas Child. Each year, Will takes his team down to the local Walmart store. He donates the money and the kids can go out and buy presents for those less fortunate. It makes you feel like you're doing the right thing, like you know that you're making somebody else's Christmas better. Make your holiday even better with the Walmart gift card. Tonight, a proposed U.S. law requiring passports at the border means big losses for both sides. Are Americans ready to back off security for cross-border commerce? On CBC News, The National, tonight at 10. Welcome back to True North Strong in TV. We're counting down Canada's top 10 TV shows. Now, before the break, we showed you number 10 on the list, so let's not waste any more time. Our supercomputer is spitting out the results, and we already have a controversy. Two of Canada's best-loved dramas with seven Gemini wins and 32 nominations each, Night Heat and Traitors, are tied for the number nine spot on our list. Now, it's really not my job to comment, but seriously, Traitors is an amazing show, but come on, Night Heat, huh? Piece of crap. Seriously. And the winner of the TV Garden Most Popular Program Award for 1988 is Night Heat. He's conscious he can answer my question. Make it hard on me. I'm going to make it hard on you. Hold it right there. We ain't making no deals. I got the girly and I got the dynamite. And I've got your brother. These things have a limited range. Don't lose your tail. Believe me, I won't lose my tail. You're wasting your time with this self-pity. You got exactly 30 seconds to feel sorry for yourself. And the winner is... I've got you. Whoever the hell you are. Night heat. <laughs> Come on!
We call it our criminal justice system. And sometimes you can't help wondering if there's even a grain of truth in any of those words. Okay, people, we got a breakout. Let's hit you right. Uh, Benny going along on East Thorn for Rock. I'll take Diapro. 500,000 each? Uh, go for a million up to 650. Ziggy, clean out the old trading tickets and clear the decks. You are thinking about <sighs> money. Uh, just need to get my hands on 10 or 15 million bucks. What the hell is this crap? Ah, our first offering single focus, high yield, resource based. A mutual fund. $50,000 minimum investment, 3% management fee. You gotta be kidding. Adam can't always deliver what he promises. It's something you might want to remember. And you can. Always. We make deals here. We don't, we don't just sit back and collect money. We're not pimps. Pimps? Okay. So we agree. Still hate your guts. What's your selling price? Hello. Yeah, looking for half a million diapro. Would you say that you're the coach of this team? Coach, general manager, owner, star player, and biggest fan. <laughs> Throughout the show, we'll be talking to some of Canada's most respected culture commentators and pundits about our list, Canadian television, and its place in Canadian culture. One of the true stars of Canadian television joins us tonight. She presently lives in Brazil, where she rescues endangered species. Welcome back, Francesca Friori. Hola, Patrick. It's nice to see you again. You know, I, I don't think we've ever met before, have we? Mm, we have. Uh, where? It's not important. Go on. Well, Francesca, uh, you lived in this country for a long, long time. See. Si. Now, now you're gone. Why? Patrick, I love this country. I love the weather. I love the people. But one thing I don't love. Ah, yeah, money. No, 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 not the money. Although that was crap. It was because here, in Canada, I cannot be a star to you Canadian, it's a four-letter word, star. <laughs> I'm sorry, maybe I cannot say star on TV. Probably you can say the F word, but not the S one, and I don't mean squaw. Those are pretty harsh words, Francesca. Do you really feel that way? I do. You have greatest country and universe. You can do anything. You can go topless in the street or marry a gay, but you cannot be a star. You can make love to a dead man in a movie, paid for with your tax, but you cannot be a star. In the United States, when you do show, they send a limousine to pick you up. In Canada, they say, take a taxi and keep the receipt and we will reimburse. <laughs> Stars don't keep receipt. No, no, they, they don't. That'd be absolutely... But you kept the receipt for tonight, though, right? I did, Patrick. I give to your producer. Good. It's just, you know, they need that. Nice. That's, you know. So what do you think is the root problem? Ha <laughs> ha! The root? Paul Gross is the root of the problem. What do you mean? Paul Gross, all the time he talk about how Canadian television it need more funding and the Heritage Department must do this and more tax credit for this and what about the native? I It's no sexy. Oh, I think he's just trying to help. Ha! <laughs> If he want to help, he should put down the phone and go have a hooker blow his bone. But make sure paparazzi take picture of it. And, uh, Sarah Polly, if you are listening, stop with the picket and start showing the ticket, huh? Don't go to Ottawa and train in economy with no makeup in your old coat and eat cheese sandwich to ask for more money from government. We don't need more tax money. We need you to get drunk and make sex tape with Paul Gross. Now that's a Canadian movie I guarantee people will see. Well, you know, I, I certainly would. You know, Patrick, I'm going to teach you how to be a star right now. Oh, great. How are you going to do that? I am going to storm off. And why? A star don't need a reason. This is bullshit, Patrick! Bullshit!